Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and I'd like to let you know about an exciting six-part series that I've created for the Code with Chris channel. With close to 500,000 YouTube subscribers and his highly acclaimed Code with Chris Plus option, Chris's materials are beyond a doubt the go-to resources for aspiring iOS developers. So I'm honored to be able to offer this series as part of his collection of resources. In this series, we'll be building a simple application. However, it's not really about what you build, but rather about what you learn during the process. We're going to start with a traditional approach for a URL session function to fetch and decode JSON from the JSON placeholder API. We're going to start with a completion handler and a result type to build a generic network function for a custom service struct. There's going to be a lot to unpack here, and we'll build our application using the MPBBM design pattern, making sure that our code is reusable, concise, and understandable so that skills learned and functions created can be applied to our own current and future projects. Then we'll use Xcode's built-in source control to commit our project to Git and create development branches to keep our different learning paths separated. We'll improve our app's performance then by refactoring our code, converting the completion handler function to use the new asynchronous methods introduced in iOS 15. You'll be introduced to things like defer, async and await, the main actor, and a unit of asynchronous work known as a task. Then we'll extend our application to make two network requests in parallel and handle all errors using a custom error type with localized descriptions being presented to the users whenever an error occurs. Then with iOS 13.2, Apple is backporting many of the asynchronous functions all the way back to iOS 13. So we'll be switching our target back to iOS 14 to take advantage of these new features. Now the series starts on December 1st, so make sure you subscribe to Chris's channel and ring that bell to get notified of new videos. Hope to see you there.